How's it going everyone? So this is from a test stream that I did for my traditional art. I wanted to get a setup so that I can stream some sketchbook stuff or any traditional art for that matter onto Twitch and I finally bought some stuff and got this rig going so here it is. There's definitely a lot of kinks that I need to work out in terms of video because one, my lighting's not the best so that's why the video doesn't look as nice as it should because the camera is is a really good camera. It's a Panasonic Lumix G7 which is something a lot of people recommend when it comes to using an actual camera for a webcam. I've seen people make some really beautiful cinematic videos with this camera so I know what it's capable of and I've, I've used it in good lighting so I know how it's supposed to look but because I have some terrible lights and just terrible lighting in my room to begin with um, I definitely need to invest in some lighting supplies, but I think before I do any of that, I want to make sure it's something that I'm going to keep doing. Plus, lighting supplies are pretty expensive, and I think the first thing I need to do is get a dedicated desk for just doing my traditional art, because both of my desks that I do have are pretty cluttered. Um, besides that, I also want to invest in another webcam, something not too expensive. Because right now I'm using my IMAX webcam and that's why it's kind of angled towards me in this video and you only see the side of my face. So if I actually had an actual webcam that I can attach to the top of something else, then I can actually face it towards the front of my face, which would be ideal. Um, I don't know if that actually bothers anyone, but I just feel like it looks kind of awkward. So let me know if it's fine. Anyway, so in this video I'm doing my typical cartoon head drawings that I do in my sketchbook. I definitely want to get into doing more poses and, you know, full body stuff, but during stream it's kind of tedious to keep looking up references, so I don't, I don't want to like bore the person that's watching because they're there to watch me draw. plan is to actually have drawings prepared when it comes to traditional art. So more than likely I'll have the rough drawing done and maybe the refining stages would be done, but I might do that on stream. Um, just so that people can watch the more interesting parts, because it can get pretty boring, I think, to, to just see someone roughing out a sketch, especially if it takes a long time to, to get the right pose and whatnot. Of course, there's some people out there that would like to see the roughing out stages and just watching someone you know, erase and erase and erase until they finally get something that they like. Like myself, I, I like watching that type of stuff, but um, I don't know, it's gonna be a lot of trial and error just to see what people like to see. Anyways, so yeah, these are these are pretty much the type of stuff that you see in my sketchbook, and I definitely want to change it up a bit by going out to cafes and doing some urban sketching. I know in the beginning when I started making these YouTube videos like six months ago, I mentioned I was going to do a lot of urban sketching. That didn't really happen. It's not because I didn't enjoy doing urban sketching and cafe sketching. It's because propping a camera up at your sketchbook while you draw it, it gets you some weird looks and it just feels kind of awkward because a lot of people start to hover over you and try to see what you're doing. As much as that's similar to streaming, it just feels a little different when people are kind of awkwardly looking over your shoulder while you draw because at least on stream I don't know it's it's kind of weird I, I'm sure you guys understand what I mean though hopefully um, but yeah just propping my camera up in public and pointing it at my my sketches it just felt kind of weird so that's why I started streaming and it makes it so much easier because I can just download the video after I'm done on Twitch and make it into a YouTube video um, but yeah, I, I do definitely want to do some more cafe sketching and urban sketching, and I probably will. In the near future, I want to try going out to a coffee shop or something once a week to get some drawings in. That way, if I want, I can take those drawings that I did at the coffee shop and put it on stream. And from there, I can either ink them or do some refining sketches over them and then add some watercolor or something over it. All right, well, that's pretty much it. So if you have any topics you want me to talk about or any questions that you may want me to answer, please leave them in the comment or just start asking them on my stream. If you follow me on twitch.tv slash jessiefendi, you'll get some notifications for whenever I start to go live. So that's pretty much it. Uh, there will probably not be a video up next Monday because I will be on vacation, but we'll see. We shall see.